there are several ways we can actually contact the sexually transmitted infections or sexually transmitted disease without actually engaging in sexual activity or sexual intercourse. One of such ways is through the use or handling of our handsets. It is believed that the handsets are both different types of microorganisms and one of such is Staphylococcus. So we are advised that at periodically we get an alcohol-based spirit or alcohol-based sanitizers, get a wipe also pour them on it and use it to clean up our cell phones when we clean them periodically because we handle this phone always and sometimes when we handle these phones we don't sanitize our hands and we use them to touch different places on our face or we even put them in some of the orifices of the body so by doing this it's going to reduce if we use alcohol based sanitizer or spirit it's going to reduce the bioavailability of these microorganisms on these phones and it is advised that we do them often Another way we can get sexually transmitted infection without engaging in sexual activity is through the use of makeup brush or makeup foam. This is believed to, to be transmitted if somebody has a break in their mouth and some of the infections that can be transmitted through this is herpes simplex virus. So for those of us who share makeup brush, you can afford our own makeup brush. Before you use it, ensure that you get an alcohol-based spirit. Sterilize this brush too if you are not using your own and it is if you can afford it please buy your own makeup brush and get your own makeup phone because if somebody who, who already has a happy simplex virus uses it and you who do not have it and you have a break in your mouth and you use it to clean up your face or make, do makeup on your face it could be transmitted through that means another way is through the use of lipstick or lip gloss so please those of us who use this do not share it with anyone ensure that you are using your own because Sexually transmitted infections such as epistemplex virus or even hepatitis can be gotten through this because some of these viruses can stay on these things for some hours before they die off. So get your own and do not stop sharing lipstick or lip gloss. Some persons can get that through the use of cutlery, spoon, cups. If someone has epistemplex virus and you do not know and you share cup with a person, you might be getting it through that. Then some persons share toothbrush. I wonder why they do that. Please discourage the sharing of toothbrush. Toothbrush should be personal use because this could be transmitted through that. Then some persons who go to the salon to make their hair. Most especially ladies who go to fix wigs or wave on. And those needles that are used for fixing your wave, wave on or wig. It could be used to transmit infections because it, there could be piercing from one person to the other. So when you are going to the salon to, to fix your, your wig or your weave on, ensure that you have your own needle. And those persons who also share hair clippers, please, hair clippers are supposed to actually personal for each person. And if you cannot get a personal one, ensure that the, that the one you want to use at that particular point in time, the one that you are sharing, is cleaned with alcohol-based spirits. This is to help eliminate whatever virus or microorganisms that are already in those hair clippers or in those shafts that you want to use because sexually transmitted infections can be transmitted through that and we might not know. It might go unsuspected with persons who are using it. So I've said handphones and handsets should be cleaned often to reduce the bioavailability of these microorganisms on them. Do not share makeup brushes, do not share makeup foams, do not share lip glosses and lip sticks. Then do not share cutlery that is not clean or properly washed. Do not share needles, do not share blades, do not share air clippers to help us prevent we getting sexually transmitted infections without engaging in sexual activities. I still remain Sister Ozo Augusta and this is still Body Gist. Keep following us for more healthy gist.